Kusu Sanko, hello, namaste, and touch the lid to everyone. Welcome back to my channel, friends. And I know it's been a long time that I have cooked with you guys in the kitchen, and I'm really sorry for that, friends. And to make it up with you guys today, I'm cooking something very new. This is my first time trying to make this recipe. I hope you guys like this also. And I am making a very popular recipe that's going around in TikTok. On Facebook, I have seen in many other, uh, I mean, shorts videos like on YouTube. So I'm trying to make that today. And I'm making God's butter from beef bone marrow, friends. So here it is. I have a tray full of uh, bone marrow right here. It's cut into like very nice size and also it's cleaned. So this is ready to be baked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake it in the oven or should I call it roast it in the oven, uh, 350 degrees for until, you know, the, mm, the marrow part starts to get brown in color. But before that, I'm going to uh, season this. And friends, bone marrow is supposed to be full of collagen, you know, like who doesn't like collagen, right? Especially being a female where you want to keep your skin, you know, wrinkle free forever. So I guess we have to eat a lot of bone marrow. And also this is supposed to be really, really good for your joints. As we get older, I think you need this, you know. So let's try it out, friends, and I hope you try this recipe also. So friends, I'm so excited. You know what, after I make it, I will taste it with you guys, how it comes out. So now, uh, what are the ingredients that I'm going to put on top of it before I start roasting? So I have garlic chopped garlic fresh chopped garlic this is cilantro i'm going to make like two different uh toppings or should i mixtures one is with basil garlic olive oil and the other one is with cilantro garlic olive oil and i'm going to add a little bit of chili powder black pepper and salt of course to taste so friends let's start cooking super excited and i have the oven already heated up to 350 degrees. Friends, like I said, I'm going to mix like two different uh, seasoning or toppings, should I call it, before I grill it. So first one I'm going to do is with cilantro. And I'm gonna use olive oil. chili powder I like it spicy so lots of chili powder salt and some black pepper okay so just going to mix this and it's going to be same for the basil also friends so, and let's add some garlic Mix them well. And we're going to just, I'm going to do half with this mixture with cilantro. And just put it on top. Taking basil, chili powder, salt, black pepper, and olive oil. Mix it. I mean, for your toppings, friends, you can, I mean, garlic, you uh, you can use ginger, any, any toppings that you prefer to. It doesn't have to be basil. I know some people don't like basil. Some people don't like cilantro. 
So here you go friends. So I'm going to put the topping. <laughs> see this is how I have it right here so it's ready to go in the oven so I'm gonna bake it like I said 350 degrees which is already ready here 350 right here and bake it for like maybe half an hour it could be a little bit longer until I see it like browning on the top okay so friends I'm gonna put this in the oven oh the oven is so hot what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the timer cook time for let's do half an hour first and cook time for half an hour and friends I will see you then oh no actually with this what I'm going to enjoy today is some fresh greens that I got from the Asian supermarket right here friends this is what I'm going to be sauteing with the marrow. And for this one, you know, this looks like a lot, but once you saute, you know, this one becomes very, I mean, it becomes half the size, or like, should I say it, one third of the size. So this is what it looks like. I don't know what it's called in Bhutanese or either English, but this is really, really delicious. I mean, you get this one, uh, you know, they actually, when you go to Asian restaurants, they uh, sell this. So what you do is you just take off the leaves like this. And when they get to the tender part, you just break it. And it it's like kind of hollow here all the way through. So I don't know what is the name of it, but it's really good. And I will show you the recipe how to saute this also. Okay, friends, I'm going to clean this up in the meantime while the bone marrow is getting cooked so i will meet you then friends and friends it's been half an hour because it's just baked and my oven just turned off so let's check our god's butter Ooh. oh my gosh smells so good all oh, is steaming hot let it cool down okay friends I'm gonna cook the greens that I have ready so you see I have you know I showed it to you guys I don't know the name of this greens but any of you who knows what is the name of this greens please leave a comment below what it's called Heated it up, little bit of olive oil, garlic, and friends. Usually, you will see me not heating up the olive oil before I, you know, add my ingredients because, as we all know, olive oil is not high resistance. So, I never like to heat up my olive oil. So let's cook this for one or two minutes. Get a bit of salt. And friends, I usually use pink salt instead of regular salt. But you know what? I'll have whichever choice. I mean, whichever salt you have is what I meant to say. See, this is already ground up. I'm going to add this. Mm-hmm. 
sodium soy sauce. So friends, let's check the screens. Will it fit? How oh, I wanted it to be. Saute it. I've already added a little bit of soy sauce. So friends, make sure like when you're adding salt at the beginning, just don't add too much salt. See? And this is ready. right here and I know this is super hot so friends there's the marrow mm. oh my god it's so good oh friends thank you for watching I hope you tried this recipe. It's really good, friends, and then it's super delicious. And thank you again. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to enjoy that tray full of bone marrow and greens. Please, if you haven't liked, share, and subscribe, please do it now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for watching, friends. Thank you.